Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We invite you to follow the latest news on the Nai Province Essential Television Channel. At the government headquarters on October 15, a meeting took place between the party personnel committee of the government and the party delegation of National Assembly, focused on the eighth session of the 15th National Assembly. The meeting was co-chaired by Phạm Minh Chính, secretary of the party personnel committee of the government, and Prime Minister and Trần Thanh Mẫn. Secretary of Party Delegation of National Assembly and Chairman of National Assembly. At a conference, the Prime Minister emphasized that the volume of work submitted by the government to the National Assembly at the eighth sessions were a record, including 81 doses and documents, in which the government proposes to submit to the National Assembly for consideration and approval of 15 law projects and give opinions on 10 law projects. According to the Prime Minister, Although there is so much work, thoroughly grasping the spirit of Central Committee, a tenth conference is only to discuss, not backward, so delegates need to do more actively, focus on more solving, contributing to bringing the country into a new era, the era of reaching out for the nation. The Prime Minister also said that the spirit of Central Government is decentralization go hand in hand with resource allocation, strengthening the implementation capacity of all levels, the central government also advocates shifting the approach to lawmaking from focusing primarily on management to a balanced approach that includes both management and spending space for development, particularly encouraging innovation and creativity. It aims to eliminate subsidies and ask gift mechanism. October 15, the Nam Provincial Post Council for 2021-2026 term have its 20th session of the March session. Chairman of Provincial Post Council, Thai Bao, and Vice Chairman of Provincial Post Council, Quan Thi Bích Hang, chaired the meeting. According to the program, at this meeting, the People's Council of that province considered and approved eight proposals and draft resolutions, including many urgent contents, such as content related to land acquisition or land use purpose change. Speaking at the conclusion of the meeting, Chairman of the Provincial Post Council, Thai Bao, reports that the Provincial Postal Committee urgently implemented effective implementation of newly passed resolutions, and at the same time, noted the implementation of a number of resolutions. The Chairman of Provincial Post Council also reports that the Provincial Post Committee soon announced the resolution of the Standing Committee of the National Assembly. Directive the effective implementation of arrangement of administrative units in the area. Chairman of Provincial Post Council, Thai Bao, also asked the Provincial Post Committee, local departments, and sectors to review the implementation of specific regimes policies for subjects according to the resolution of Provincial People's Council to ensure timeliness and effectiveness. Chairman of the Provincial Post Committee, Vo Tang Duc, I just signed decision number 2901 on the issues of regulation for a competition on general urban planning ideas for Long Thanh Airport, Nam Nai Province, and surrounding areas. According to the program, at this meeting, the People's Council of Nam Nai Province considered and approved eight proposals and draft resolutions, including many urgent contents such as content related to land acquisition or land use purpose change. Speaking at the conclusion of the meeting, Chairman of the Provincial Post Council, Thai Bao, reports that the Provincial Postal Committee urgently implemented effective implementation of newly passed resolutions, and at the same time, noted the implementation of a number of resolutions. The Chairman of Provincial Post Council also reports that the Provincial Post Committee soon announced the resolution of the Standing Committee of the National Assembly. Directive the effective implementation of arrangement of administrative units in the area. Chairman of Provincial Post Council, Thai Bao, also asked the Provincial Post Committee, local departments, and sectors to review the implementation of specific regimes policies for subjects according to resolution of Provincial People's Council to ensure timeliness and effectiveness. 
the United States had issued its strongest warning ever this row, stating that Washington will reduce military aid if Israel does not improve access to humanitarian aid for Gaza within 30 days. In a letter to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu government, Secretary of State at the Blinken and Defense Secretary Lord Austin expressed deep concerns about the deteriorating humanitarian situation in Gaza. The letter states that Israel has refused to obstruct nearly 90% of humanitarian aid shipments into Gaza in the past months. On October 15, Israel continued air strife in southern Gaza, killing at least 15 people. Israel has faced growing international criticism as the conflict between Israel and Hamas continues, having claimed the loss of over 4,000 Palestinians so far. On October 15, UK Foreign Secretary David Lamy announced financial sanctions against three illegal Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank and four organizations that have supported violence against communities in the area. In a press release, Foreign Secretary David Lamy said that the illegal Israeli settlements in the West Bank are being subjected to strict financial restrictions. These settlements have been identified as being involved in acts of violence and harassment, and are displacing Palestinians and seizing their land. The organization name includes the of Yosef Jai Yeshiva Religious School, the Torah Lejma Charity, and construction company Amana. Let me note that UK sources are responding to the increasing violence by Israel settlers in the West Bank over the past year. This nation has reported over 1,004 settler attacks on Palestinian communities in October 2023. Dear viewers, you have just watched English News on the Central Television Channel of my province. Goodbye and see you again.